In this video topic, we'll discuss and see an amazing syllabus of an interesting course over MySQL and that is MySQL Stored Processors. So here, this is very first video. So inside this very first video, we'll discuss the complete syllabus that what are the things we'll cover inside this interesting and amazing course so that each and every concept of MySQL Stored Processors will be clear throughout this course. So first thing first, let's get started about this complete syllabus. So we can see that we can cover this amazing and informative course from ground level. It means first we understand that what is the definition, it means what is my SQL stored processor. Then we understand that what is delimiter. So once we complete the concept of delimiters inside this course, so after getting that concept, now we will start the concept of creating our first my SQL stored processor. And then we'll discuss the types of parameters and the type of mode of parameters inside the stored processor. So let me tell you, we have three modes like in parameter, out parameter and in out parameter. So what basically they are and how to use, why we use all these concepts we'll discuss step by step when we go inside this MySQL stored processor course. And once we cover all these things, then we'll discuss about the concept of how to use MySQL variables inside MySQL stored processors. And then obviously, once we complete all these things, we'll include a very interesting concept that is all about conditional statements. So inside this conditional statement, we'll discuss the important concept of if cases, it means if a statement, if and else a statement, and MySQL switch cases statements. So this amazing concept also will be a part of this MySQL course. Then we'll discuss that what is loop, how to use loops inside our declarative statements inside MySQL stored processors. And finally, one of the most important topic of MySQL that is all about the concept of cursors. So we can see that this is our very basic syllabus. Step by step, we'll go from ground level to topmost advanced level. Now here, we have the complete idea, complete concept to get step by step to complete this amazing and very informative MySQL course. Now the second question comes in our minds is that if suppose we are a complete beginner, so what is the prerequisite of this course? So let me tell you, to complete and get the entire concept of this MySQL stored processor, you need only two things. First, will be the open source like free open source tool called phpMyAdmin. So once you get phpMyAdmin, so after installation of this, you will get MySQL database driver. So to get the complete concept of this MySQL stored processors, you need only phpMyAdmin and inside phpMyAdmin, you need only MySQL database driver. So apart from this phpMyAdmin, also if you have like MySQL workbench, so obviously it will also work to get the entire concept of this amazing and very informative course. And at last, I have only a single request. If friends, you think that this course is really, really very helpful, so please give us a thumbs up, like this amazing and very interesting course. Please do subscribe so that I will be creating such of amazing and interesting courses for you. Now let's meet to our next amazing video of this course. So for this session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.